Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 So, right now, you are performing the first process of bhakti, devotional service. This process is known as shravanam, hearing. It's a little too loud, turn it down. It's too loud. The beginning of spiritual life is to hear from devotees about the science of God. This process was approved by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is the beginning of pure devotional service. Pure devotional service is that thing which pleases God. If you can please God, then your life is perfect. In the great scripture, Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a section called the Uddhava Gita where Krishna is answering the questions of his great devotee Uddhava. It is a very large section. Some 24, 25 chapters. So there is one verse there where Krishna states that days like today should be observed by devotees. So this celebration of Janmashtami is the order of Krishna for those who want to achieve Krishna. By coming to this event, you are indicating to Krishna that you would like to return back to where he is right now. Because that is your original home. So, this hearing about Krishna is very important. So please repeat after me. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. I'm going to take you back 5,000 years ago. There is an event that took place in India. This is not a story. It is an historical event. Many of you come from that country of India. This actually took place 5,000 years ago. It is not mythology. Me personally, I'm not interested in mythology. I am into science. Spiritual science. I don't care about biology, chemistry, no. 
But spiritual science, I am very interested in. Pero ciencia espiritual estoy muy interesado. 5,000 years ago, there was a great king. Hace 5,000 años había un gran rey. You saw him in the drama. Lo, vi lo vieron en el drama. Kamsa. Kamsa. He was the most powerful demon. Él era el demonio más poderoso. And he had made an alliance with all the demons on the earth. And they were building up their armies. They were the original terrorists. Because they were harming you. You means devotees. Kamsa does not like you. Because you like Krishna. So the Mother Earth. Earth, actually there is a deity of Mother Earth. She is a person. And she was very much lamenting. She does not like the world to be run by demons. So Mother Earth took the form of a cow. And she went to see the leader of the universe. His name is Lord Brahma. He is the most intelligent person in the whole universe. And she went there with tears in her eyes. And she explained why she was crying. She felt too much burden because of Kamsa and his demoniac followers. So Lord Brahma and all the demigods along with Mother Earth they went to a special place the shore of the ocean of milk and they offered prayers to Lord Vishnu in this ocean of milk is a white island the home of Shirodakashai Vishnu. And the demigods chanted prayers. After some time, Lord Brahma heard the words of Vishnu. Vishnu was giving instructions. All the demigods should expand themselves and take birth in the Yadu dynasty because Krishna himself was going to appear in that dynasty. And all the demigods should assist him because Krishna was going to come and take care of Mother Earth's burden. It is stated in the Bhagavad Gita that whenever the world is overburdened by demons, when there's too much irreligion, God comes and reestablishes the truth. And he does several things. 
He destroys the demons. Destru a los He gives shelter and support to the devotees. Da y a los and establishes the real religion. Y la the real religion la is not Hindu. No es Hindu. Not a Muslim. No es not Christian. No es not Jew. No not Buddha. That is not the real religion. There is only one religion. Love of God. And obedience to God. That is the only religion. Doesn't matter who you are. Where you are. How you are. There is only one religion. Do you love God? Do you obey God? That is the only question. So the demigods and Lord Brahma got the order. And they expanded themselves. And took birth in Krishna's dynasty. The Yadu dynasty. Now, some time later, Ahora, poco más adelante, there is a couple. Hay una, una pareja. They have just gotten married. Se acaban de casar. Vasudev and Devaki. Vasudev y Devaki. It just so happens Lo que es that Devaki is the brother of this evil king Kamsa. And so on the wedding day, Entonces, en el día de la boda, Kamsa agrees to drive the chariot. Kamsa que él va el donde va el because, because Devaki is leaving her parents' home. And is going to live now in the place of Vasudev. That was also the home of Kamsa. It is known as Mathura. Mathura is a very, very holy place. Krishna performs his pastimes in three major places. Mathura, Vrindavan, Dwaraka. These are called Dham. Dham means very, very sacred holy place. Dham quiere decir lugares que son muy, muy sagrados. So Kamsa is driving the chariot. Entonces, Kamsa está manejando el carruaje. Vasudev and Devaki are passengers. Vasudev y Devaki son pasajeros en ese carruaje. All of a sudden, de repente, Kamsa hears a voice in the sky. Kamsa escucha un voz que viene del suelo. Kamsa, you fool! Kamsa, tú eres tonto. The eighth child of your sister will kill you. El octavo hijo de tu hermana te va a matar. When Kamsa hears that sound, Cuando Kamsa escucha ese sonido del cielo, he lets go of the reins of the horses. El inmediatamente deja las sogas que está controlando los caballos. With one hand, con un mano, He grabs Devaki by the hair. In his other hand, he draws his sword. He is going to kill her right on the spot. His own sister, on her wedding day, Now you know what is a demon. A demon is someone who only cares about himself. 
Una persona demoníaca es una persona que solamente piensa de él mismo. Doesn't matter whether one is sister or brother. A esa persona no le importa si uno es hermana o hermano. Mother or father. Madre o padre. If anyone interferes with my sense gratification, I can kill them without any remorse. So the sword is raised. Vasudev has to think very quickly now. Tiene que pensar muy rápido algo para salvar he su has esposa. to save his wife. Él tiene que salvar su esposa. So Vasudev begins to talk to Kamsa. Vasudev empieza a hablar con Kamsa. He tries to reason with him. Él, él quiere tratar de dar un lógico, argumentar inteligentemente he, con él. He tries to appeal to his better nature. Él trata de acercar una, una naturaleza mejor de Kamsa. He tries to reason with Kamsa that this is not good what he's about to do. Él quiere discutir una manera así para explicar que eso no es bueno lo que él iba a hacer. He tries different kinds of philosophies. Él también trata de dar diferentes tipos de filosofías. But Kamsa is not going to change his mind. Pero Kamsa no, estaba listo para su no matter what Vasudev says, Kamsa is still with the sword. So Vasudev thinks there's only one thing left to do. Para hacer eso, Vasudev tells Kamsa. Vasudev dice a Kamsa. The omen said that Devaki's eighth child will kill you. El voz de la cielo, del cielo dijo que el octavo hijo de Devaki te va a matar. You have no harm from Devaki. Usted no tiene ninguna, no va, ninguna herida de Devaki. So... Vasudev says, Entonces, Vasudev dice, if there are any children, si hay hijos, I will turn them over to you. Yo voy a a usted. And you can do whatever you like with my children. Y usted puede hacer lo que usted desea con mis hijos. This convinces Vas uh, Kamsa not to kill his sister. Y esto sí convence a Kamsa, el rey demonio, que, para que no mate a su hermano. So, for the time being, Devaki is saved. Entonces, temporalmente, por lo menos, Devaki está salvado. So, they return or they go to Mathura. Entonces, ellos regresan a Mathura. And after some time, y después de un tiempo, Devaki gives birth to her first son. Devaki le da luz al primer hijo. And Vasudev keeps his promise. Y Vasudev sigue con su promesa. You can imagine how hard that must have been. Usted puede imaginar qué difícil será para él. Anyone who has had a child. Una, alguien de aquí, si tiene un hijo. To give that child to Kamsa. And most likely he's going to kill the child. Kamsa is very surprised. Vasudev has kept his word of honor. Had it been Kamsa, he would not have kept his word. But Vasudev is devotee. A devotee is someone who means what they say and says what they mean. A devotee makes his words true. 
When Kamsa sees that Vasudev has brought the first son, Kamsa has a change of heart. So even demons can sometimes be nice. Kamsa says, I'm not interested in this son. It's your eighth child that I'm worried about. Vasudev, you can take your son back home. So Vasudev is ecstatic. He has saved Devaki. He has saved Devaki. And now he gets to keep his first son. But something happens. Somebody comes to stir the pot. The great saint Narada Muni appears. Narada visits Kamsa. And Narada tells Kamsa. Kamsa, all the demigods have taken birth in the Yadu dynasty and they're coming to kill you. And then, and then Narada says, Kamsa, in, in your previous life, you were a demon. Your name was Kalanemi. And you were killed by Lord Vishnu. Kamsa, Lord Vishnu is coming again to kill you. Then Narada disappeared. So after hearing this from Narada, Kamsa decides not to trust anyone. He goes back on his word and kills that first child of Devaki. And for the next six, uh, year, six years, year after year, Devaki gives birth. And each child Kamsa kills. Six sons of Devaki all killed by Kamsa. Now, meanwhile, in the spiritual world, Krishna knows everything that's going on on earth. Krishna speaks to his spiritual potency, Krishna, Yoga Maya. That my expansion, Baladev, will soon appear as the seventh child of Devaki. Yoga Maya, I want you to attract him. Out of the womb of Devaki, into the womb of another wife of Vasudev. She is known as Rohini. And you will be blessed by my potency. So even though it may be difficult, you can do it by my potency. Yoga Maya says to the Lord, yes, I will do as you say. So Balaram was attracted from the womb of Devaki to the womb of Rohini. 
Therefore, one of Balaram's names, Sankarshana. Repeat it. Very good. So when that happened, it looked like David Key had a miscarriage. Then, a special night, 5,000 years ago, this night, everything was very, very nice. It was actually the eighth day of the waning moon but the moon appeared full and the flowers were smelling very nicely and the river was flowing nicely a nice breeze in the air Everyone felt very peaceful and happy. Todo el mundo se mucho paz y Meanwhile, Vasudev and Devaki had been imprisoned by Kamsa. Ese tiempo, Vasudev y Devaki por Kamsa. After Narada appeared, que Narada, Vasudev and Devaki were prisoners in Kamsa's house. They had iron shackles on them. And Devaki and Vasudev saw Krishna. But Krishna appeared in a particular form. He appeared in his four-handed form, Narayan. Él apareció en su forma de cuatro brazos que llama Narayana. Vasudev and Devaki offered prayers. Vasudev y Devaki empezaron a dar muchas oraciones. And they were very much worried. Pero estaban muy preocupados. Because they knew as soon as Kamsa would find out Krishna would come to kill. So Devaki and Vasudev prayed for Krishna to please do something. Krishna told his parents, the reason why I am peering like this Narayan form the, the reason why I am not appearing as a baby is because this is the third time I have been your son. When you were Prishni and Suttapa, I appeared as your son. When you were Kashyapa and Aditi, I appeared as your son Vamanadev. Now for the third time I am coming as your son. I am coming in my original form. Krishna. So Krishna then transformed himself to look like an ordinary human baby. And he told Vasudev that in the place known as Gokul, Yashoda has given birth to a girl. 
You should switch babies with Yashoda. All of a sudden, all the watchmen and guards were fast asleep. Because it was midnight. And miraculously, all the iron shackles opened. Vasudev took baby Krishna in his arms. And started to walk towards Gokul. And it started to rain. And then Lord Anantashesha appeared with his many hoods. In order to act as an umbrella to protect baby Krishna. And then he reached the home of Nanda and Yashoda. When Yashoda gave birth, she fell asleep. And she could not remember whether she had given birth to a boy or a girl. So while she is sleeping, Vasudev switches the babies. He leaves Krishna with Yashoda and takes Yashoda's girl back. For 11 years, Yashoda thinks that this boy Krishna is actually her son. But after 11 years, when Krishna kills Kamsa, like you saw in the drama, how Krishna sat on Kamsa's chest and beat him with his fists. That's when everything is revealed to Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj. When Vasudev returns back to the palace, he takes the baby girl and gives it to Devaki. The iron chains are put back on and the baby girl begins to cry. The guards wake up and they inform Kamsa the, the eighth child has appeared. Kamsa wakes up out of bed. His hair is disheveled. He goes to the spot and sees Devaki's eighth child as a girl. He takes the girl in his hands and he's going to throw her down and kill her on the stone. And as he's about to do it, the girl slips out of his hands and appears as Durga Mata. And she chastises Kamsa. You rascal! The child you are looking for has already taken birth somewhere else. And she disappears. Kamsa is totally bewildered. And all of a sudden, Kamsa becomes a different person. 
He takes off the shackles of Vasudeva and Devaki. And all of a sudden, Kamsa now is a great philosopher. He explains to Vasudeva and Devaki that I didn't actually kill your six children. It was their karma. You should not lament. So Kamsa is now preaching philosophy. And he's saying you shouldn't blame me. Because I was just acting according to destiny. And I only did it. I only did it. Because I believe the words of the omen in the sky. And you were supposed to have the eighth son. But I got cheated. It was a girl. So you please forgive me. Okay, no harm, no foul. And, and Vasudeva and Devaki, they're so great, they forgive Kamsa. Could you do that? Could you be like Vasudeva and Devaki and forgive Kamsa? I don't know if I could. But Vasudeva and Devaki are so exalted. You have to be exalted in order to be the mother and father of Krishna. You can't be an ordinary devotee. No. You have to be the topmost devotee. You have to perform great austerities and penances. Devaki and Vasudeva performed thousands of years of austerities to become qualified to be Krishna's parents. So after this, Kamsa went back to bed. And in the morning, he went to his court and explained everything to his ministers. And the minister said, no, 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 no. Durga Mata said, the child has taken birth somewhere else. We should kill all the babies who have just now taken birth. We can't take any chances. And since Vishnu is coming to kill you like Narada Muni said, we have to somehow or other try to defeat Vishnu. The way to defeat Vishnu is to torture the Brahmanas. Torture the devotees. And stop all kinds of religious practice. Kamsa, let us do all this on your behalf. So Kamsa agreed. And the reign of terror began. Meanwhile, in Gokula, Yashoda wakes up. Remember, she doesn't remember. And she sees this beautiful boy that she thinks she has given birth to. And they have a great festival. 
celebración grande, un festival grande. Brahmanas are invited to chant mantras. Todos los brahmanas sacerdotes vienen para recitar los mantras. Nanda and Yashoda give so much charity. Los parientes de Krishna, Nanda y Yashoda le dan mucha caridad. And Krishna is blessed and bathed and everybody is happy to see the birth of Krishna. It was very unusual Era algo extraordinario. because Nanda was very advanced in age. It was not expected that he would have a male child. No esperaba que iba a tener un hijo. When a man gets older, he loses his potency. Una vieja, él su But even though he sees he has this son, Krishna. Pero así, él ve que tiene un hijo, Krishna. So it's a great festive day. Entonces, es un día muy And everybody is happy. Y todo el mundo es Everybody is ecstatic. Todo el mundo es ecstatic. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, after this, Kamsa, he sends so many demons. So many demons to come and kill Krishna. Even when Krishna is just a little infant, he sends one demon after another. For 11 years. But no matter what demon comes to sense, the demon dies. El se muere. And Krishna remains undefeated. Y Krishna queda And then, at around 11 years old, Después, tiene como 11 años, Kamsa calls for Krishna to come to Mathura. And Kamsa has an elaborate plan to kill Krishna. But in the end, Krishna kills Kamsa. And then Krishna is reunited with his original parents. Vasudev and Devaki. And that begins the next chapter of Krishna's pastimes. The first 11 years was the Vrindavan Lila. Then there was some pastimes in Mathura. But then Krishna marries his first wife. The beautiful Rukmini. And Rukmini is the first. And Krishna only had 16,108 wives only. Even if he married 16 trillion, drop in the bucket. He only married 16,100. But Rukmini was the first. And with each wife, he had 10 sons. And each of those sons had 10 sons. So Krishna had a very big family. All And each wife of Krishna had one girl. Yes, ten to one. Then 
in Dwaraka and Mathura more demons came because the original reason why Krishna was to come was to get rid of all the demons on the earth. So for 125 years, Krishna is simply keep killing demon after demon after demon. Then, one of the final episodes, the Mahabharat, the war between the Kauravas and the Pandavas. And Krishna was on the side of the Pandavas. And of all the Pandavas, Krishna's dearmost friend, Arjuna. Krishna said, I will not fight in the battle. But I agree to drive Arjuna's chariot. And on the first day of the battle, before the war begins, Arjuna becomes bewildered. He's afraid to fight. He turns to Krishna and says, please instruct me. And Krishna begins to explain Bhagavad Gita. And at the end of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna tells Arjuna, I have told you everything that you need to know. You have free will, Arjuna. What do you want to do now? And Arjuna responds, Yes, Krishna. My doubts are cleared. I now know what I should do. I'm going to do what you want me to do. I'm going to fight this war. So for 18 days, the Pandavas fight the Kauravas. And at the end, Krishna and the Pandavas are victorious. Yudhisthira is installed as the emperor of the world and Krishna returns to his city Dwaraka. Then the final pastime Lord Brahma comes to Dwaraka and he says to Krishna Brahma came with all the demigods. Brahma situates himself in the sky and says to Krishna, for 125 years, you did what we asked you to do. All the demons now are destroyed. We thank you, Krishna. Now you can return to your home. But Krishna is thinking, there is still one last burden on the earth. My own family. Because if I leave and they remain, they will become too puffed up. And they, will, they are too powerful. And without me to check them, they will cause a disturbance. So first I must remove my dynasty. Then I can go home. So that actually happens. The family gets cursed. 
And they fight amongst themselves with iron rods <laughs> and they beat each other. They had become intoxicated. So don't become intoxicated. And Krishna's family was so intoxicated, they were even trying to kill Krishna and Balaram. That's how bad is intoxication. So the whole family was annihilated. Balaram produced a snake from his mouth. A white snake. He got on that snake and went back to the spiritual world. Krishna was sitting under a tree. A hunter was looking to shoot. He saw what he thought was a deer. But it was the bottom of Krishna's foot. The hunter drew his arrow and shot Krishna in the foot. But Krishna did not die. It did nothing to Krishna. Nothing. The hunter came looking for his deer. And when he approached, he saw that it was Krishna. And he said, oh, I'm very sorry, Krishna. Krishna did not get angry at him. Krishna told him, you can go back to Godhead right now. Don't try to imitate. Don't think that you can shoot an arrow and go back to Godhead. Then, after the hunter returned to Godhead, Krishna began to meditate on himself and he started to levitate rising higher and higher higher and higher he went through the higher planetary system and as he promised before returning to his abode he visited Lord Brahma in his abode. And then Krishna returned home. Sri Krishna Bhagavan Ki Sri Krishna Bhagavan Ki Sri Krishna Bhagavan Ki So one last thing. There is a very powerful verse in the Bhagavad Gita. Janma karma chame divyam. Krishna says that my birth and activities is divine. My birth and activities are transcendental. But you have to understand them in truth. If you can understand Krishna's birth and activities in truth, simply for understanding, you get to join Krishna in his abode. So I hope you were all listening very carefully. I hope that you took this narration and put it deep in your heart. So did you hear with rapt attention? 
If you did, if you understand, you can be with Krishna at the end of this life. Prabhupada said, if you chant Hare Krishna and strictly follow the four rules and regulations, you can be with Krishna. How many want to be with Krishna? Raise your hand. How many are chanting 16 rounds? Ah, looks like we have some work to do. How many are following the four regulative principles? Mm, we have work to do. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Everything is here. In this movement, everything is there for you to go to the kingdom of God. Now, there's one thing you have to be worried about. Maya. Maya. Maya is that energy which teaches you, which tells you you don't want Krishna. You want me. You want money. You want fame. You want sex. Power. Wealth. I'll give you everything, just forget Krishna. Maya is your enemy. You have to tell Maya, no more Maya. I want Krishna. 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 You have to be determined because Maya does not play nice. She knows where your weakness is. She knows exactly where to attack you. And Maya comes so nicely. Come. 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 And if you give in to Maya, do you know what she does? She slaps you. <laughs> but then she comes again. Come. Come. And again she slaps you. How many of you are tired of being kicked by Maya? then you have to surrender to Krishna. And you surrender to Krishna by simply chanting the Maha Mantra. Everybody! Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! Krishna Krishna! Hare Hare! Hare Rama! Hare Rama! Rama Rama! May Krishna bless you, protect you, maintain you. Maintain you and say no to Maya. One more time, the Maha Mantra, everybody. Shri Krishna Janmashtami Ki Devotees of Panama City Ki Saying no to Maya Ki Hare Krishna